Hey Rockstar, how you doing? I know we haven't seen each other in a while, but here's what's up. I'd like you to work on these chords for me so when we see each other next time, we can have something to play together. Here we are. We've got a G, C, E, A. What we want to do is we want to finagle these tuning pegs so this note goes you could go online to a YouTube video and I'll leave one in the description that says tuning so when you do that you hear the note so if your tone is that you need to come up to it you hear how I'm in tune there with these so those are the right notes we've got a high G string we've got a C string E string and an A string. You know that we worked on this, right? These are called spidey exercises. So first finger, first fret, not on the metal, but in between. Second finger, second fret, not on the metal, but in between. And you wanna keep your finger on there. So you're gonna one, two, three, four. It might be slow at first, but if you use your finger here and your finger here, and go boom, 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 boom. A couple times, maybe four. One, two, three, four. And then blade down the second one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then you go up to the next string. One, two, three, four. 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 So on and so forth, okay? And then once you get really comfortable doing all the notes, try and just do them together. This is gonna give us a little motor skills and muscle memory, right? So the chords that we know, we're gonna be the C major. We're gonna have our third finger on the higher string, furthest away from you. So the A string, we're gonna go A, B flat, B, C. And when we get to C, strum it. That should be a C major. So remember when we worked on doing this, we're playing the same note with different fingers. Same thing we did with the F major. The F major had our first finger on the first fret on the E string. So it's gonna be this string. We're gonna put our finger right there. It's gonna be a pointy note, so it goes down on top of it, not, not flat. Flat, pointy. We want it pointy. And then our second finger, our middle finger, is gonna go on the high G string to make a G, G sharp, A. So between that F and the A, the open C and the open A here, we've got an F major chord. Rock out. All right, so now you know the C and the F. That's what we worked on together. I'm gonna give you three new chords to work on, okay? Take them slow and you're gonna do these just like the C and the F. You're gonna concentrate on where your fingies go, okay? So this next chord is gonna be called a A major. With the A major, it's quite like the F major. So let's play the F major. Let's put our finger down on the F note, E, F, and then our A right here. What we're gonna do here to make the A major from the F major, two different chords, is we're gonna take our first finger, we're gonna leave the second finger, but we're gonna anchor that second finger, and then we're gonna move the first finger from the E string to the C string. So we're gonna take this finger and go whoop, to this one right here, to that note, the C sharp. So this is the open C, C, C sharp. So on the C sharp, Plus the A, A note, we have a A major, which is different from a F major. F major, A major. So what I'd like you to do is work on playing the A major and rocking out with that one, okay? First finger on the C sharp, second finger on the A, just like the F. Okay, so we've got the C major, we've got the F major, and we've got the A major. Our next chord is going to be a G major, okay? This one's a little tricky. It looks like a triangle with our fingers. We're gonna be using the first, second, and third finger. The first finger is gonna go on the second fret. Not the first, but the second. And you're gonna go to the C string. The C string is the thick string right here. It's the second one right below your high G. So high G, C string. And then on the C string, you're gonna put your finger on the second fret to make a D. So we've got C, C sharp, which is the note you just played with the A but now you're gonna play a D note. That D note is gonna have another note with the second finger all the way up here on the B. So on the same fret, 
you're gonna cover the D note right there and then the B note, which is right there. So these two are little, little bookends. There's a note in between that I'm not playing. Well, with that other third finger here, we're gonna wrap that guy around and play that note. The notes that we're playing are a B, a G, and a D, which gives us our G major triad. Rock out on that one, all right? And then our last chord for our grouping of five is gonna be our D chord. The D chord is a little hard just for the fact that it, you're gonna be holding down these three notes and you're gonna be leaving this top one open. So it sounds like this. The only thing is we don't play chords with our hands above, we play it below, which means if I were to do that this way, it would change the chord. What I need are these three notes. So what we do is we actually put our finger down flat on that fret and we keep just the itty bit of it up. See how, whoa, fell over. <laughs> See how we've got this fingering here? I'm putting my finger down on the second fret here, not the first, the second, to get the F sharp, the D, and the A, but I'm leaving this A note up top here open by making my finger press on those three. See that? If I didn't do that, it would sound like this, which is a B minor seven. But if I bring that up and I play just these three notes, the high G, the C string, and the E string, not the A string, and leave that open, I get a D major. Cool? I know that's a very hard note to be able to hit. However, once you have that note, and you can play it in different fingerings like this, you can move that up to make a D sharp, E major, F major, so on and so forth. So here are the chord reviews, you ready buddy? We got our C major, one, two, three, four. We've got our F major, one, two, three, four. We've got our A major, one, these two strings down here are open and you're playing on these two for the C sharp and the A. We've got our G major that's on the D, bookend it for the B and then play the G for this little triangle. Boop, 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 boop. Two, three, four, and then we've got our D major. And remember with our D major we're playing these three strings and we're leaving this top string open. So when we eventually move this D up, we have to cover that. So D major, D sharp, covering the first fret, move it up to the fourth fret, cover the second fret, so on and so forth. I know that kind of makes sense, but all you gotta do is know where the thingies go. Rock out on those chords. And Camden, I, uh, I will see you as soon as we possibly can. Okay, buddy, have a great time. And if you'd like more uh, lessons here, put in the comment section or just have uh, your pops give me a buzz. It's good seeing you, okay? Aloha.